Peace of the Lord be with you, and good morning. This is our devotion for um, Thursday, February 18th, and it's Thursday, so it's Psalm Day. Uh, our psalm for this morning is from Psalm 118, verses 1 through 13. Psalm 118 is a, a, a pretty lengthy psalm. Uh, it's about what, uh, 29 verses, uh, not as lengthy as Psalm 119. That's the longest book of the Bible. But um, we'll, we'll only be looking at the first 13 verses uh, of the psalm. So, uh, I'll be getting this out in the morning, so let's uh, follow the morning order. Uh, daily prayer, page 295, and we'll begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, Psalm 118. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who hear, fear the Lord say his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All nations surround me. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They went out like a fire among thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling. But the Lord helped me. Uh, in the 14th beautiful verse 2, The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, you are our strength and our song. You have become our salvation. When our enemies have surrounded us, we, uh, we are blessed that you are the one who comes and protects us and, uh, and, and cuts, off those, um, cuts off those enemies from us, that we would have, have refuge in you. For it is better to take refuge in you than in, than in man and in princes. Uh, Lord, when we are distressed, we pray that you would grant us to call upon your name, that you would hear us, that we would not fear, and that we would know that you are our helper, that we would look in triumph on those who hate me. And we would say with Aaron, uh, with all of Israel, the steadfast love of the Lord endures forever. Blessed Lord, we give thanks to you, for you are good. Your steadfast love endures forever. We thank you for that love through your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Um, uh, one of the Psalms are usually, I think, pretty pretty straightforward. So we've got another one that is. Um, oh, give thanks to the Lord. Verse one. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Uh, yeah, the, He is good. That that um, that love that He has. Um, you know, we we what a blessing that we have in that. What a blessing that He. Uh, that he has loved us with an eternal love. He has loved us when we were even his enemies. Uh, I mentioned this word before. This it's his said right that says his steadfast love, his his um, uh, his, his agape. You know, it's kind of how it's often uh, connected in, in in Greek. That that um, that divine love that is um, you know grounded only in his goodness. Uh, as we look at it uh, uh, in, in view of who the Lord is, right. Uh, let Israel say his steadfast love endures forever. You know, so let 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 his people say that. Let the house of Aaron, the you know uh, Aaron Moses' brother, the 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 high the first high priest. Let them say. It. Let the priests say it. Um, no, let the pastors say it. His, his his steadfast love endures forever. Those who fear the Lord, let them say it. His steadfast love endures forever. Um, all these 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 various causes for for saying it, or the, all the those excuse me, all those various ways of of saying it, um, and who should say it. Um, verses 5 through 7, Out of my distress I called to the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. You know, there is that steadfast love, that, that you, calling upon him and being set free. And if you've ever, uh, I'm sure you've experienced that, where you, you had distress of some kind, uh, and you called upon the Lord, and and sometimes you, you, he, he, he relieved you, he answered you by, by freeing you from the cause of that distress. Sometimes uh, he just gave you peace in the midst of it. And in either case, it's a blessing, right? He answers that prayer. And, and, and we know that he always, always hears our prayers and he always answers them. And sometimes um, he lets us experience that distress, but that our faith would grow and increase and we would have to rest upon him. Uh, you know, I've known many people that uh, I've had to counsel where 
they've been, um, they've kind of felt forsaken. And I've said, you know, you know, God will provide for you. Just hang in there and God provides for them, right? Uh, provides what's needed. He, as we lean on him, as we call upon him, you know, he said that uh, with the, the, um, the blind man this week, he called upon the Lord again. You know, they tell him to be silent and he calls upon him again. That's what we, that's what we ought to do. We ought to call upon him and, uh, and, and he, will, he, he will answer us. He will hear us and answer us. Uh, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Uh, you know, what a blessing. That, that, uh, what, what can somebody do to you? Well, they can kill you. They can take away everything you got in this world. But they can never take away the resurrection of your body. That's the, the gift the Lord gives to you. They can't take it away. They can't take away the eternal riches that are yours in Jesus. You know, they can take away earthly riches, but moth and rust are going to destroy those anyway. But in Christ, you have eternal riches, right? So the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look and triumph on those who hate me. You know, who hates us? You know, the devil, right? And and uh, he is ultimately, he's ultimately our enemy. And, um, you know, sin, sin, death, and the devil are our enemies. Christ has triumphed over all of them for us. So we shall look on and triumph on those who hate us. Uh, verses 8 and 9. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. You know, what, um, what, it, what as I bring up the, the political environment right now, uh, we see all over the place where where there is so much trust in politics, so much trust in government, uh, and so much trust in, uh, in what the people in those roles will, can, or will not, and won't do, um, that we forget that our trust actually isn't in them. Our, our trust is in the Lord. You know, he, will, he will take care of us. He will provide what we need. Are there times it might be hard? Yeah. Will culture you know, go to pot in the meantime? It could. It could. It certainly could. I mean, we our culture is rejecting the Lord, but but our trust isn't in what our culture is going to do. Our trust is is in the Lord in whom we take refuge. That's that's where our hope is, and He will He will care for us. Um, when we are in distress, you know, as I've said, that steadfast love never ceases; it endures forever. Uh, so all the nations surround me. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. You know, when we've got that, those challenges around us, look at, look at uh, how, this, how this fits with the temptation. Um, you know, you have the, this challenge uh, to Jesus, and what does he do? He calls upon the name of the Lord, right? How so? Does he actually speak the name of the Lord? Well, we don't hear him saying that, but we do see him referencing the word that the Lord has spoken, right? That, uh, in essence, praying, uh, praying in, in view of that. And, and, and as we look at that, uh, the, 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 um, the, the wrestlings that we have and the nations surrounding us and, you know, that sort of thing, and figuratively speaking, and, um, you know, we have that Christ who has, who has triumphed over all these things for us. So, so, um, we're, we're cut off from them, you know, that, uh, we are, we are freed from them. And they surround me like bees. They went out like a fire among, uh, among thorns in the name of the Lord. I cut them off. Um, I was pushed hard so that I was falling and, um, no, sorry, I just was looking at the note for cut them off. God did not permit Israel to be destroyed by our earthly enemies, nor did he allow his Messiah to be overwhelmed by the, the forces of evil. They were cut off, right? Uh, anyway, verse 13, I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. Um, you know, what a, what a, what a blessing that we have, uh, in knowing that even if we are pushed hard, that uh, the Lord will help us, that he has helped us. Uh, you know, as, as we look at like the, 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 the blind man again from this past weekend, uh, you know, go your way, your faith has made you well. Uh, you're literally, your faith has saved you, right? The Lord helps us, he is our help. And um, you know, what, what a blessing that uh, the Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation, right? He, he is, um, he is good and gracious to us in Christ and promises never to leave us nor forsake us in view of that because his steadfast love endures forever. Amen. All right, so we continue with the, uh, with the creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.